Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. La, 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 la. Man guys, it feels so good to finally be back and recording a video for you all. When I say that I've had the craziest past month, I mean literally I have had the craziest past month. I have had so many changes. I moved, I downsized from having an apartment to being in a house to now a way smaller space. If you guys wanna see that video, go and check out my couple channel, AE I Love You. But basically, now I'm in an entirely new studio setup. I'm in my old room at my parents' house. They were nice enough to let me come and make my studio here. So if you guys want to see a new beauty room tour, let me know in the comments below. But basically, I've had a lot of changes going on. And including this week, it's been a tough week because I spent a couple days in the hospital with my really good friend who was in a terrible car accident. He is alive and he's kicking it. And I just want you guys to send some prayers. We call him Trill if you guys would like to know that. Anyways, it's just been a lot going on. I haven't really had the time nor the spirit to sit down and record a video for you guys. But for Valentine's Day, Elias got me the new Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'm in better spirits today. I'm feeling very hopeful and faithful that things are gonna work out with my friend's health. And, and I'm just excited to get back into this, get back into the swing of things now that I'm all settled from my move. I know it's kind of a big bomb I'm dropping, but yeah. That's what's been going on with me. So I just thought today I would create an eyeshadow look. I'm gonna do two different looks on each of my eyes so that I can really explore the shades in this palette. It is gorgeous. I've opened it, but I have not swatched anything yet. And I've seen a couple tutorials. So this is the box. Just so y'all know, these are press-ons. My nails are still not grown out yet. So if you're wondering, I'm using the Kiss Impress um, French tip nails. And I really like them actually. But anyways, back to the point. So this is the palette. I am a huge Jaclyn Hill fan, if you guys didn't know that. I love her, and no one can change my opinion of that. It's funny, too, because we both live in Tampa, and I'm always, like, out and about, like, looking around, like, is Jaclyn here? Um, I do have her first palette, and I love that one. And I actually have the original palette, like, the matte packaging, not the glossy one. And now I have this beauty. <gasps> Ooh, it's so pretty. I literally told my boyfriend, I'm like, this palette's me. It's so, like bright and airy and summery. I'm a Floridian, so I'm all about the tropical vibes. Everyone's kind of comparing it to the tropics. Yeah, I would agree. I cannot wait to dig into these shades to kind of give you guys my take and my opinion of the palette and how the shades work on my eyelids. By the way, guys, they have Irish cream back at Dunkin', if you guys did not know that. We're ready to go. If you guys would like to see my take on the new Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, then keep on watching. Let me zoom you in. So as you can see, I already have all my face makeup on and my eyebrows, and then I went ahead and I set my eyelids with the Shape Tape Concealer and some of my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. I just wanted a very clean, soft canvas, and I did see on someone's video, I cannot remember who said it, but somebody said that they used the shades without setting the concealer or the primer, and they it wasn't that great. So I usually set my eyelids before I put eyeshadow on them anyways, but I figured, especially since I heard that, I wanted to give it the full benefit of the doubt and go ahead and set it so it's a smooth canvas before I get started into these shades. I want to use as many as I can. And I think we're doing a cut crease today, which I haven't done one in a while. These are the gorgeous shades that Jaclyn and Morphe came up with. I am like, are you kidding me? I was going to use my Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow brushes, but I'm so dumb. I thought I already washed them and I didn't. I'm just going to have to use some of my other Morphe brushes. Now I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes so that if there is any fallout, it's caught. It's in my eye. I'm a million percent gonna be using Talia, Talia. I think I'm gonna use it on both eyes. I think that's how I'm gonna get it to come together is I'm gonna use that shade for the cut crease so that everything is like super smooth. But I guess to start, I'm like, what do I do from there to begin? I'm gonna start on my left eye because that's what I'm less, what I'm least comfortable with. So starting on this eye, I'm gonna take this little brush that actually came in a Dose of Colors palette. It's very thin and pointed. I'm gonna go right in with Not My Journey, which is this really vibrant, dark purple shade. And I'm just gonna start packing it in to a line. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my M506 brush and I'm gonna blend this line out without adding any colors. I'm gonna just see if I can get it a little softer. Thank you. 
And then I'm gonna bring this line in and connect it to the bottom of my eyelid. I'm liking that so far. The next shade I'll be going in with is Therapy Sesh. That's a really neon type of purple and I'm just gonna place it and stamp it right above that purple we just used. Not my journey. Wow. How gorgeous. They're so pigmented and so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that M506 brush and blend these two shades together and sort of blend this top one out. I'm gonna take a clean brush. This is the M433 brush and I'm just gonna buff out those edges with this clean brush because it's clean. <laughs> Okay, so I will say I was trying to play it safe at first. I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more of each of these shades just because I feel like more comfortable with them. And then going again with the Therapy Sesh, stamp that right there. Holy. Be careful not to take your colors like too high because you're gonna run out of eyelid space, especially if you have smaller eyelids. I would start a little lower and then focus on blending in the same spot that your shadow's already in and not blending upward because I've made that mistake several times. Then you kind of run out of eyelid space. Now I'm gonna go in with an orange. Also, the higher that you guys go, you can use a little bit less focused of a brush because you're sort of fanning the lighter shades out more and more, so your brush doesn't have to be as detailed the higher you go. Dipping into filling myself with the M573 brush. I'm gonna blend out these edges with some orange. I never really go out of my comfort zone with, actually that's a lie. I do try things out, but I don't really get that creative. I feel like that's one of my goals for 2020 is to get more creative with my eyeshadow looks because I feel like I have the capabilities and sometimes I get a little bit insecure about it whenever it's not like as gorgeous as some of like the Instagram pages that I follow, but. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go back in with Therapy Sesh on the same, oh, on the E18 brush. I'm going to blend out this purple line down here, kind of just bring it in like a wing. And then I'm taking that orange and I'm also bringing it down so it kind of looks like a V in the corner. No one is talking to you, Alexa. <laughs> what the freak? Why is she doing that? If blending seems like it takes forever, it's because it does. Okay, so I'm taking my Shape Tip Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I'm actually using one of the old brushes that came in the Naked 3 palette um, because it's a flat synthetic brush. Put a little bit right here. And look up. Boom. So I'm gonna fill out my eyelid. Okay, then once I get like the majority of the product on the eyelid, I go ahead and take a smaller, more detailed brush. This is the Luxie 246 Precision brush. I already put some concealer on it. It's a precision crease brush, which makes sense. And then I go ahead and I do the details with this. It's a little bit more focused. Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the first brush that we used in the darkest purple, and I'm going to start closing in on this concealer. Going in with the E18 brush and Therapy Sesh, add a little bit more. And then with a little bit more of a fluffy brush, this is the other side of the Dose of Colors eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna take that Feeling Myself shade and press that right there as well. And I'm kind of swiping it sideways because I'm about to put the metallic gold on it and I just want it to look really like effortlessly gradient, you know? So, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and use this gorgeous shade. I don't know if it's Talia or Talia, but it's gorgeous. And I'm just gonna take that on my ring finger and boom. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. I'm gonna take the JH42 brush. Go ahead and add that just to keep it like nice and clean. Jacqueline always says to use MAC Fix Plus, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, honey. There she is. She's arrived. And then buffing that orange shade right into the gold. You just want this to be like super seamless, you know? I'm living. Next thing that I'm gonna do is take the shade I'm in it and pop that underneath my eyebrow. Wow. And then I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of Certified as well, just to brighten it. Okay, you. I'm just putting a little bit more of that orange coral shade at the top. Actually, it's an orange shade, but it does kind of look coral with these colors. Wow. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Next thing, I'm wiping away the powder from my under eye. I'm using the JH39 brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade Love Handles, and I'm going to blend out this bottom line with this shade. I apply my like under eyeshadow, my under lash eyeshadow this way. I do the lightest shades and then I work up to the darker ones and get closer to my lash line. It's kind of funny how that sort of like fades into the coral. Next shade I'm going to go in with, and I'm going to use the same brush, is Home. Mm, that would be pretty typical of me to go with a darker brown. Let's instead grab Stay True on that same brush. And this is going a little closer to the lash line. Oof. And then we're gonna grab Oh Hello, and that's gonna be the closest, darkest shade on there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it, it kind of just gradients itself. See? Gradients itself. It's true. I lied, we're doing one more thing. I'm taking this angled eyeshadow brush, and I'm taking Temptress, which is the black shade, and I'm gonna line underneath the whole bottom lash line with this black shade. I'm gonna go back in with that brush, the JH39, and blend this out. Now I'm taking my NYX eye pencil in white and using this beauty blender, I'm putting white on my lower lash line to open my eyes. I'm so scared to do eyeliner and screw this up. I'm not doing eyeliner. If that. I'm not trying to mess up my eyelid after all this hard work and blending. Me and Liquid Eyeliner, we have our great days and then we have our eh, days. I just don't think it's worth the risk. Now we're moving on to the other eye. <laughs> I'm thinking for this eye, I really wanted to use the pinks and yellow and maybe some cranberry, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I own this really cool brush cleaner. It's called Japanese Create Beauty. It's a waterless, <laughs> it's a waterless brush cleanser and I use this in between like really pigmented shades. I'm just gonna take my paper towel and clean them off very quick. Look how well that comes off. Oh my God, it's not even focused. Look how good that comes off. I'll use a little more, because this purple is no joke. 
So my favorite color in the palette is called Tipsy Girl. It's freaking beautiful. The only thing is I feel like I need to start with a darker shade so I can kind of fade out from that. So we're going to use Lolly Mama to start. So the same way we just kind of started patting that on our eye. Taking my trusty dusty M506 brush, I'm gonna do the same thing where I started to blend out those edges. I'm definitely more comfortable with this eye. Pretty. Okay, now we're dipping into my personal favorite shade in the palette, Tipsy Girl. And I'm using the E18 brush, and I'm just patting that right on top. Look at that pink! This pink is no joke. Obviously the two shades are very similar, but I still wanted to create more of a pink looking eye rather than a purple one. The eyes are gonna be similar, but just different. You know? Going in with a much fluffier brush, the R37 brush. I'm gonna take, no joke, the yellow shade. It's very yellowy, and that is what I'm gonna be blending this shade out with. Oh my god, I'm making orange. Ugh. I guess I do need a little bit more focused of a brush. I'm taking JH40, because it's more focused, and that's what I'm gonna blend out this shade with, because I wasn't really going for orange, you know? I guess that was dumb of me because pink and yellow make orange. <laughs> wow. I do like this yellow a lot. I will say it's the least pigmented out of all of them, but I still do like it. I'm going back in with my M506 brush and I'm just blending these out a little bit better. This is the brush that we just don't add product to because we kind of want to just use it as like a little smudger to just blend all the shades so they look gradient. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more of the Tipsy Girl shade. And then going back in and adding some more of No Joke. And then we're gonna go back in with that same brush we used before to highlight underneath the brow bone. And I'm using the shade Certified. And I'm gonna also mix in the shade I'm in it. Dusting a little bit more yellow into there. I don't wanna lose my yellow. I love these shades, they're so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease the same exact way as I did this one and add the gold pigment the same exact way as I did this side and then I will be right back. Okay, so I got a second to charge my camera and finish this eye. So literally I did the same thing with the gold and then all I did was add the darkest pink right here, blended it with the lighter pink and then blended it with the yellow and then just kind of tapped and blended the gold into it. So I literally did the same side. I did it the same way as this side. So if you guys want to rewind and see that, it's literally the same thing, just different colors. Now I dusted this away. Starting with, I'll be using the JH39 brush again. I'm going to use the No Joke again, the yellow. And I'm just going to drag this down. And then with the same brush, I'll dip into the shade Positivity, which is a really pretty peach shade. Place that a little closer to my lash line. Ooh, I like that. I like it like that. I guess the shade I'm gonna use next is Hard On, almost like a raspberry shade. And that's gonna go right up closest to my lash line. And then again, with the angled eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna add Temptress to my lower lash line, right underneath it. And then I'm gonna take this brush again, adding no extra product, and try to blend that out between the black and the peach. I do like it, but I'm gonna add a little bit more of heart on. There we go, the circle of life. 
I like how they're really similar but also different, you know? Now I'll take I'm in it and certified and pop that in the inner corner. I feel like by the end of my tutorials I'm like monotone because I'm super relaxed. I feel like doing makeup really make, makes me like relaxed. So if you ever notice that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna add some white liner over here as well. Oh my gosh, yay! Okay, now I'm going to put on some mascara. The mascara that I'll be using is my favorite Lash Essence Mascara, the Princess one. Today I'll be using my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. These and the So Extra Miami are my favorite ones. I love them. Let me pop these bad boys on real quick. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrezy Highlighter and using my JH09 highlighting brush. I'm just gonna bring on the shine, baby. It would not be a Jaclyn Hill tutorial if you did not get the cheeks. I'm using the MAC lipstick in the shade Kinda Sexy. I didn't bring any of my lip pencils with me from my move. I need to kind of get all my products together, so I'm not going to be using a lip liner today. So, bear with me. Topping it off with this MAC lip gloss in Luster Glass. And the very last step is setting it with my Jeffree Star Morphe setting spray. And voila, that is the finished look, everyone. I had a lot of fun creating this tutorial and being able to focus on two completely different eye looks with this new palette that I never got to use before. So my final thoughts are that I love it. I would say it's my favorite product that she's released that I've tried yet so far. I think that this is definitely a palette that, you know, tests your creativity. I think it's awesome for traveling because it has all the neutrals, it has the white shade that you need, a highlighting shade, it has all the different colors if you guys want to get creative. I'm so pleased with how it looks, I'm so pleased with how all the shades blend and how I was able to kind of do two different looks that tie in together. I feel really confident about all the rest of the shades that I haven't even used yet based off of the ones that I have used, especially because I know that some of the shades that I used are not easy to make that I've heard of. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this look and if you're going to try either one of them out yourself. And if you have the palette, let me know what you think of it so far. I am a huge Jaclyn Hill supporter. I love that woman. I think she's amazing and I am rooting for her all the way, especially with all of these new things that she's doing and just putting forth the effort to come back from her downfall. So that's my girl. Anyways, so yeah. This is the final look. Let me know what you guys think of it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and have my post notifications turned on. Please, guys, I'm almost at 15K, and I need your I need your subscribe and your support. If you enjoy my content, it would mean the world to me. So, you know, just log in and hit that little button and let me know what you think of everything. If you guys have any requests or anything that you guys would like to see, make sure you comment below and let me know. I will link all the products in the description. I know I'm trying to get better at that because sometimes people are like, what did you use? This was really fun. I don't want to take it off. I'm going to sleep in it. I love it. All right, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all in my next video. I love you, angels, and God bless you.